Hello, hi, my name is Lori. Uh, today is April, April 5th, 2017. Spring has sprung here on the nursery, as you can see from this forsythia. And today what I'd like to talk to you about is the root system on our container plants. And one of the changes we've made in the last two decades is to, we grow all our container plants in a pot that's been treated with copper hydroxide. Copper, as you know, is a micronutrient, therefore required by the plant, absorbed by roots. But when it's applied by the concentration in the latex carrier, when the roots hit the side of the container, they stop. They don't die, they stop. And what it does is it encourages more roots density inside the pod mix, and it also prevents circling roots that go that maybe used to be the the standard in our industry, but now you're gonna find we'll, we'll be able to grow for you a plant that when you plant it in the landscape, you do not have to uh, cut up the circling roots. The roots are all right ready to go. Our goal is to provide a container plant with landscape ready roots, and for that, what that means to us as it's ready to roll, the roots are healthy, and as soon as they hit the landscape soil, they're going to start rooting out for you. And that's going to increase your landscape establishment. It's also going to increase your livability. And be, when the plant becomes uh, established in the landscape, your water requirements also can be reduced. So those are some of the goals. Um, also for us as a grower, when we have a lot of healthy root tips in our potting mix, the roots absorb the nutrients better, they root into the pot faster, and they also absorb the, the water better. Therefore, our production cycles are, are ramped up, our plants are ramped up, and they're ready to, to go for sale. So I'm gonna show you the what our root system looks like that's grown in a copper-treated container. I'm using a forsythia to show it because the roots are a little bit wider on the tips and hopefully you can see a little bit. So you look at this potting mass here, there isn't the circling roots or just the mass of roots on the outside of the container. So when you see that, this is a good thing, but when you scratch the mix a little bit, you can start to expose a lot of little white root tips, very healthy, ready to root out for you. So this plant, easy planting, take off the pot, put it into the soil, provide new, good backfill, and it's ready to root out, as you can see, nice viable roots, ready to go. I'm gonna show you a little difference with a root with a rose. Their roots aren't quite as white, but I think you'll just be able to illustrate on this how you don't how you don't see the circling roots, but there are a lot of roots in there, right ready to go. And if I scratch it a little bit. I can start to expose a lot of the little uh, root tips that are ready. Okay, so those are just some of the things we're doing to help make a good quality plant. And be assured that we do grow our plants with you in mind. And I hope you found this information helpful and hope to see you soon. Okay, bye.